hello friends welcome to ctc today we will see what is class field and method in java so let's start with an example suppose there is an engineer who wants to assemble a car build a car a mechanical engineer wants to build a car and uh, so now he is not directly going to start assembling the car first he will have a blueprint he will design a plan he will design how car will appear he will out the different features that car will have so he will have a pre-plan how his car should look like and what sort of the features or the functionalities that car should have so class is nothing but a blueprint or we can say prototype from which objects are created class also describes the states and the behaviors and object of its type can have so here states means nothing but fields or we can say variables and behaviors are nothing but methods so here we have a class car which can have fields like uh, color of a car or we can say model of a car and uh, or we can say price of that car it can also have engine as a field that could probably be of reference type or it can also have uh, is AC on is car on these fields of uh, boolean type which will have values like uh, true or false and the methods which will operate on this data like uh, turn on the car turn off the car turn on the AC turn off the AC so these different methods will operate on these fields which this object will have so this object can hold this data as I told you that data means nothing but a color setting the color of car because different car will have different color or car will have different model so car will have different states having different uh, car will have same states with different values and these methods will operate on that data because every class will have same kind of the methods like turn on turn off so such kind of methods will operate on this data so when you create a class you are creating a new data type here if we create a class car then we are creating a data type named car so you can use this class to declare object of that class type that is car so next what is field field is also called as a variable in java so variable is the basic unit of storage in java variable is defined by the combination of an identifier here identifier is nothing but name of that variable and a type that can be a primitive type of reference type i'll upload another video where i will i will explain the data types we have in java and optional initial initializer that is the initialized value of that variable so you just have to keep in mind that class body has a field and its methods fields are nothing but a storage unit of a storage where we will store the value of different fields and it is known at the compile time that can be of type primitive or reference in java programming language initial values of all types of variable depends on its type so it is again depend on the type that variable or we can say field has that can be of primitive type or reference type so if it is int then it will be zero something like that and if it is a boolean then it will have initial value as a or can say default value false and if it is a reference type then it will have default value null so this is the way we declare a variable here we, you can see type type is nothing but a, a data type of that variable identifier is a name and it is optional if you want to initialize variable or not so next is method as i told you before method is nothing but a behavior used to operate on the data an object has so this is the declaration of method method also has a lot of things 
in it so i'll upload another video which will have detailed explanation regarding the method its modifier and all type so method modifier and its return type which it returns when you invoke the method and method name and this is the format format parameter and it starts with the curly brace this is the body this is the starting curly brace and is this closing curly brace opening and closing curly brace of the body of this method so this way we have to declare the class you can see here class will also have class modifier class name sorry class keyword followed by class name and these are the optional super class and super interface and again the way we started the body of method with curly brace opening curly brace so here we have opening curly brace which will have field declaration or we can say variable declaration and method declaration and after that we close the body of a class using closing curly brace in the next video I will show you how to define a class practically. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please check out my other videos too. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more videos. It makes huge difference. Thank you.